Hello and welcome to video 6 of the WebTitan install tutorial series. In this video I'm going to go through manually configuring your browser to connect to WebTitan. Uh, this is mainly of use for testing. Uh, when you're going live with WebTitan you will more than likely want to deploy your proxy settings uh, via group policy or maybe through uh, WPAT, Web Proxy Auto Detection. Both Internet Explorer and Chrome uh, are governed by your Windows settings. Uh, to configure those, click on Start, go to Control Panel, go to Internet Options, Connections, LAN Settings. If you're using WPAD, you can select Automatically Detect Settings or Use Automatic Configuration Script. With automatically detect settings, your browser would do a DNS lookup for the word WPAD or WPAD.your domain. Uh, so this needs to be configured on your DNS server and would need to resolve to your WebTitan server. The Use Automatic Configuration Script allows you to specify a specific IP address and file. Or you can configure it manually. So we put in our WebTitan IP address and the port number on which you have configured WebTitan to listen. By default that will be 8881. Under the advanced settings you can specify whether you want it to apply, for all, apply to all protocols. You can also specify exemptions. So these would be sites that when accessed using the browser would not be directed towards the proxy. Uh, you can also put in IP address, IP address ranges, things like that. Firefox, on the other hand, has its own proxy settings. Within Firefox, if you click on the Settings menu, go into Options, click on Advanced, Network, and Settings, and in here you can specify how you want the browser to work. So Auto Detect would be similar to the other setting where it would do a DNS lookup for WPAD. Use System Proxy Settings is use those Internet Option settings, just like we configured a minute ago, or you can manually configure your proxy. Again, you've got a bypass list for specific host names or IP addresses that you do not wish to, to access via the proxy. You can also enter your uh, the URL or location of the WPAD file if you wish. That concludes this tutorial. Please continue on to video number 7 in which we will discuss using WebTitan in transparent mode. Thank you.